Uh, so, are we ready for D and D? I am. Yes. All right. Indeed. Uh, uh, did you want to switch? I'm good here. You're good there. I can DM and drive. All right. Okay. Wait for serious? Yeah. Bold. Wow. Uh, let's get some dice trays out. Oh, that's, that's a good, a good idea. loop. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's very good. Uh, so there's a small one there, All right. and I can All get right. another big one here. Uh, Wormwood Gaming, the bones of everything, and the I don't know how it goes. Uh, Kathleen, oh, uh, there's perfect. one you can share with Jacob beast. if you want. All right, Jacob, do you want to share this one between <clears throat> us? Huh? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Uh, yes. Let Actually, me go get my dice. Cam, do you want the bigger one? Would that be easier for oh, you? Oh no, no, here? I can. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I have. Uh, I've got my digital no, dice no, here. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Man. No. Oh. Did you crash? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Who cares? Oh. I mean, the bus. That's all right. It's gonna be the only crash of the run, right? Oh no, yeah. Nightwatch has already crashed so many no, times. No, no, of our yeah. run. Of our run. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be yeah. the only, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. Yeah, unlikely positivity. Yeah. Yeah. Nightwatch stole our point, so. Yeah. I mean, that's true. So maybe we can give them this crash. Yeah. Uh, Tit for tat. Actually, if you're going to use digital dice, Jacob, maybe Kathleen yeah. and I should share this tray. All right. Yeah, that's leave, totally one, cool leave one for Cameron I there. will leave one yep. for Cameron here. I will use digital dice. <clears throat> Oh, our dice look great together, pink and purple. I think they look great too. Yeah. I did bring my physical. Maybe we should be friends. You know what? <laughs> I did bring physical dice. All right, I'll get, get you a tray. Yeah, we got so many trays. We got we got we got extras. No word of a lie, uh, Eric and I arrived at the office today with the same umbrella. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite things that we've been doing through the pandemic is that Kathleen and I wanted to like, we need to do stuff that's more social. What time do we have free? Like Sunday night at 9 p.m. Yeah. Like, cool. Let's hang out in Discord and just like talk for an hour. Yeah. It's the, it's, it's like, I would say once a month. About that, yeah. 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 And it's just, what have you been up to? How's life going? Mm-hmm. It's been good. I very much enjoy it. Hey, what was the rule with food? No food on stage unless it's for a bit? Yes. Yeah. Can't play D&D without snacks. No, absolutely not. While we're waiting for him to retrieve the uh, those snacks, uh, chat would like to look at some of the dice. Oh, what a that good you might idea! Be using. Can you um, pass that over to Matt, and he'll put uh, that on the top-down cam. So they're they don't their their beautiful colors are not quite captured, but mine are like a cotton candy pink with gold flecks in them. And mine are just like a translucent purple. But a rich amethyst. Mm -hmm. There. Oh. Perfect. There. Good. I'm sitting on the floor. Uh, absolutely. What are we doing? Thank you. Uh, we're just getting, let's get going. All okay. right. I think we're good to go. All right. Everybody loves dice. Oh, ah. very good. That was very good. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the first time that Cameron saw that. Yes. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen it, too. All right. When last we left our characters, they had all been created <laughs> and were going someplace. You had all stepped onto a conveyance of some kind, whatever was locally appropriate. Mm -hmm. And due to the nature of travel, you fell asleep. You know, maybe it was a, a smoothly rocking wagon or a horse ride somewhere. But whatever the circumstances you were, were you fell asleep. You had a pe peculiar dream that was disorienting. However you yourself interpret maybe inner ear tumbling, falling in space, uh, floating through an ocean and you wake up someplace quite unusual there are two other people with you you awaken on a cold stone floor in a dark but not pitch black room with 
Uh, well, let, 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 let's just start there, shall we? Okay. So, you wake up and you see each other. Do you want to, starting with Erica, give a quick description of your characters? Hi, I'm Waywalkit. She is a she is a gnome. She is a teenager. She's about eighteen or nineteen. Um, she is small, even by like gnome standards, um, and she is appears even smaller because she is wearing like a giant oversized cable knit sweater that like drapes down over her arms and basically covers her entire dress that she's wearing. You can see like a little tiny like the hem of a green dress and boots that she's wearing. Um, she's got bright red hair that sort of goes down and flips up in the back and fades to like a pink color. Um, and she has a, uh, sitting behind, just behind her, there is a fox that has like faint light lines that sort of trace to its fur that kind of look like flowing vines or floral patterns. Beautiful. Uh, 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 in front of you is a loxodon, and if you knew, and, and, and if and if you knew about how loxodons work, you'd say this is a very young loxodon, a human equivalent fifteen. Uh, so you know he's you know doesn't have very big tusks yet, and his ears are kind of like overly large for his body because he hasn't quite grown into them. But even by loxodon stands standards, they're big. Mm. He's got large ears, and he's got. And so he kind of makes eye contact with all of you and you just see like, you know, a thinking gif and then he just takes his trunk out, picks up this kind of worn wooden uh, steel reinforced hammer and just holds it in front of himself. And he picks up his book that is also next to him and he goes, hello, I'm Beppus. Hi, Beppus. And he, you, he's, he shakes a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shake him. What essentially looks like a patchwork, metal-clad, tiny ogre uh, is in front of you. It's, it looks like a golem, essentially, with crystals that glow blue embedded within the shoulders. Nope. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Yes, uh, I had to go get, uh, I had to go get uh, cookies. Um, <clears throat> so in front of you, what looks like a clockwork ogre with blowing glue, uh, gl blowing, blowing glue, glowing blue crystals at most of the articulation points, uh, patchwork with what looks like different metals, bronze, mithril, steel, everywhere around it, a tattered cloak, a backpack on its back with all sorts of tools and devices sticking out of it, and the weirdly uh, very, very, by most standards, uh, gro by most species standards, a grotesque face of the ogre uh, steams from a seam in the middle and splits open and falls back, revealing a bald gnome with a sharp, sharp black beard uh, with streaks of gray in it. S just bald as anything, but with sideburns here. Uh, also black with streaks of gray, a, uh, a eyebrow ring with another little blue crystal in it, uh, and tiny Posnez, Pensnez, Posnez, Posnez. Thank you. I knew knew one of you two was going to be able to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, Posnez uh, sitting in the middle, pushes himself up uh, from a sitting position, uh, starts to hit the armor as the uh, a hum goes through the entire contraption, the crystals brighten slightly. He's like, Hi. I'm Boom. Hi, Boom. Hey. Where? That's a great question. I don't know. Uh, ah. could, could everyone give me a quick perception check? Yes. Yeah, what's my perception again? It doesn't matter much what I add to that. Uh, Beppus, I believe, gets a 14. Let's see. Uh, that's a that's a five for Wocket. Ooh. She's busy looking at the, these two. 
Uh, 16. Boom. Uh, you are, this is just to determine who, like, notices this first. Oh, The nice. room you are in is an enormous stone chamber. Um, ceilings vault many meters into the air. Uh, the, the stone that the room is made out of is smooth and uh, looks like a, you know, it, it would be marble if it had any depth or change in its colors, but it is an even gray color. Mm. Um, the room is cool. Like, you, if you've ever la laid on a, on a stone floor, you know, it kind of like saps all the heat out of your body. Yeah. Um, but even this is, is cold. And boom, you notice there is a um, cleverly inset into the wall uh, near you is a ladder. And at the base of the ladder is a well-worn leather backpack that looks like it's been dropped. And there is like a faint uh, uh, column of light descending from the top of it, like there's a portal at the top. At one end of the room is a enormous window or portal that uh, is, uh, it seems to be emitting white light, even white light. And when you consider it more deeply, you see that it is in fact a window that is buried in snow. Ah. Uh, does it look like somebody's about to come down? Is that the impression that I get? No, the backpack it looks like, well, I mean, it certainly wasn't dropped while you were here. Mm. Um, there is like a fine layer of like dust on the ground and the, oh. uh, yeah. Okay. Does it look like there's any snow on the ground where we're at falling in from above? No. Ah. Ah! Well, uh, looks like we're in this together, yeah? Nobody knows where we're at, right? Uh, we, are we in the north? It, there's a lot of snow outside. Well, even the crappiest Boros jail cell wouldn't, they wouldn't put you out here with the elements. What's a Boros? Is it going to attack? What? I mean, possibly. What do you mean, what's a Boros? <laughs> He's gonna snort his trunk and be like, where am I? Wait, uh, you don't know where you are either. Nobody knows where the, there we are. No. I, I was on a carriage and I, I think I fell asleep. I had a little too much to drink last night. I had a whole half of a pint. I was on a bus and it was being pulled by an Indrik and, it fe and I fell asleep. I was running away from perfectly legitimate business things and jumped in a carriage. Ah. Uh, were you also going into town? I was. Yeah. I think. I don't know where it was going. Maybe we should try and... There's a ladder? Yeah. Should we try and get uh, out of there? There's a bag. Near... You, you hear a faint knocking. Hammering. On, on... As if on thick stone. And a very faint voice saying, Hello? Hello? Hello! Hello! We're trapped! We're down here! What happened? Oh. How did we get here? Is somebody out there? There's somebody in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, um, he's just gonna say, you both might want to cover your ears. He's gonna try to do like a very loud loxodon trumpet to get their attention. <laughs> the head comes back. Do I need to roll for that or can I just be loud? You can just be loud. I'm super loud. And a little bit desperate. It's kind of a tweep. <laughs> uh, hello? Can somebody get me out of here? Comes the voice. And there's more knocking. Uh, I, can I send Vault to try and like find where the sound is coming from? Sure. Yeah. Give me a perception check for Vault. Or an investigation check. Uh, I'm going to say that's a 15. Let me uh, see. yeah, Vulp actually, um, do you communicate telepathically? It's a familiar, right? Yeah, c like, kind of. I can't, like, talk to it, but I can, like, give it instructions and I can, like, I can see through its eyes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vulp, um, sniffs the air and, uh, goes over to the backpack, sniffs it, and then follows a disturbance in the dust, uh, over to a very cleverly disguised door 
in the oh. wall and starts like digging at it. I think there's, uh, I hello? Think there's something here. Hello? Mm. Oh, oh. Locks it onto the affinity for stonework. Can I go in and investigate it and see if I can Absolutely. discover this door? Mm. Uh, well, I rolled a three, so uh, I'm rattled, I guess. Okay. Even with um, all my bonuses, I don't think I'm going to succeed there. Sure is a stone door. How do you think Beppus fails? Does he make wildly inaccurate guesses, or does he acknowledge... Uh, is he is he capable of thinking that he's made a mistake, or does he just get it wrong? I think he's just gonna. I think he's gonna look at it, and he's gonna reach out and touch it, and he is going to know that this is not the stone of home. Okay. This is not, and it so startles him to feel something that is it's stone, but it's so foreign, and he can just tell it's not. Any, it's it's synthetic. It, it is. Yes. Oh, it's gonna. He's gonna be like, what is that? And that's gonna throw his focus, and he's not gonna be able to tell anything. Okay. What is that? Hello. I can't. I can't. Hello. Oh, she knows where the door is, so she's just gonna like try and push on it with all of her eight strength. Uh, this door is like to say it's immovable is, um, well, it would be accurate, but there's it's it's a seamless part of the wall. Mm -hmm. that only, like, the barest seam is mm. able to reveal its presence. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can find, like, a a switch or a panel or something nearby. Um, um, the voice from inside says, I I don't know how to get this door open. I'm, I'm, I'm trapped in... Well, I don't think you can force this door. Please help me get out of here. This is... I don't like it in here. We're gonna try and find. We're trying to figure out how to open the door. Okay, I, hold I, on one second. I ah. think the door is a fail safe. Oh, for what? Like it closed? To yeah. Something out or in? Well, in a technical sense, I suppose it's keeping something in. Okay. Um. I I'm going to see if I can find a panel or something. Uh, give me an investigate check. Uh, that is going to be an 18. You are not able to find any kind of way of operating this door. Okay. Okay, we can't open the door. Can you go any... Are you in a, in a room? Yeah, I, I... It seems like some kind of... It's very dark in here. Do, is there a ladder in there? Do you see a ladder? No, the ladder's outside. Wait, how do you know there's a ladder outside? Were you in this room? Because I... They probably got trapped. Came down the ladder and... Did you get trapped? Yeah. Called it. Okay, okay. so we're all trapped. Where does the ladder go? Well, the ladder goes up to that big hole. So I imagine they came down that big hole and into that room and then something closed behind them and now they're trapped and then we showed up and then they're asking us for help. Want me to blow the door up? Yeah. All right. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Let me just... Uh, Bepis is very strong. Um, Bepis is going to take his hammer and give it a good chunk to see if he could just force it open. You might want to back up. We're making poor decisions. Uh, this room is very small. How small? <laughs> well. Can you touch every wall yes, from where Yes, I can standing? touch every wall from where I'm standing. Okay, that's, that's a cell. It's not a room, it's a cell. All right, well, I'll smash the door very carefully. Why would you go in a cell? That's a fascinating story, and I would love to tell you. After you're out. No, but... <laughs> Bepis is like, uh... All right, okay. Let me see. I Hold on, I don't... I gotta check my, my abilities. Ooh. All right. Well, that's a 13. So to Bep hit? To hit. Uh, well, you certainly hit the door. All right. You hit it, you hit it squarely. Roll damage. Okay, perfect. Wow, I should have. I didn't actually give myself a hammer, even though I said I would. Even though I said I had. Uh, War hammer is one die eight. One die yeah. eight. Perfect. I did grab the right dice. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go and uh, grab the bag mm -hmm. from the uh, from near the ladder and bring it over. Okay. Because I'm assuming this is this person's bag, um, and also I'm going to look inside of it. All right. 
I deal nine points of damage to the door. All right. You strike the door squarely with your war hammer. And uh, the shock of it travels up the hammer through your shoulders and into your teeth. Um, have you ever seen that gif of somebody striking a two liter pop bottle with a mall katana? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's rather like that. And uh, there's a loud like, do you know in, uh, well, I learned this about MMA fighting in that sometimes, you know, you hear uh, one of the fighters hit another fighter and there's like a loud like meat noise. And those are the ones that don't hurt. Uh. Mm -hmm. The ones where somebody hits someone and there's just no noise, but like all the candles behind the other man blow out. Those are the bad ones. And so there's no real noise here. And after, uh, there is like a scuff on the door. And after a moment, the voice from inside says, Oh, ow. That was very mm. loud. How heavy does this door look? Give me... What, How heavy does it seem? What would your... If you are... Are you trying to reason out how heavy the door must be, or are you just trying to eyeball it? Uh, I will reason out how heavy the door must be. Investigate check. I please. would like to do something real, real silly. Uh, question, DM. Mm -hmm. Do we all start with inspiration? Sure. Excellent. You each get one point of inspiration. Fantastic. Thank you. In, you said investigation? Yes. Beautiful. Investigation. That's 12 plus 7. Uh, 19. 19. Yep. Uh, the door is enormously weighty. Enormously weighty. Yeah. Dang it. Heavy, fortified. Heavy and fortified. All right. I'll cast Detect Magic. What's around? Now, when Boom casts Detect Magic, he drops a little, like, one mm -hmm. of those blue crystals with yeah. three legs that mm -hmm. falls on the floor and starts skittering about, looking for things. Vulp starts chasing it. Like, just like, not interfering with it, but it's like, a thing is moving, haha. -ha. Mm. This is fun for him. Uh, a tiny cauldron, like a perfectly round, like, witch's cauldron, yeah. with four legs, starts chasing it as well. Oh, exciting. <laughs> um, so there is no magical aura about this room. Okay. At all. Um, it is devoid of any kind of magical, like, reinforcement, any kind of enchantment any kind of abjuration. It is simple, uh, it, it is brute material. Okay. However, from above, there comes a faint, like just the faintest feeling of, or aura of necromantic magic. And if you would like, you can roll arcane to get more information about that. I would love to do that. I come from third ed, so I would have normally requested like spellcraft. Uh, arcana? Arcana. Beautiful. Uh, how does a, uh, 20, say 23? 23. Yes. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Um, definite faint aura, just like a whisper of necromantic magic. And mm -hmm. then all kinds of like interesting things up there. But the main one is, um, enchantment ha! and a little bit of evocation. Okay. Well, don't go up there. That's explosions and death. Uh, yeah. I would like to make a general uh, look like around the room of mechanics. Anything that uh, there's no magic here, just investigation. pretty much mechanics. Give me a, give me a, investigation is used to search, right? Yes. 23. The room is impressively devoid of... Sorry, 24. The room is impressively devoid of mechanisms. It is inert storage area as far as you can tell. Okay, with no... Um, there, is, uh, there is a way down at the base of this ladder, but whatever mechanisms govern the function of this room are cleverly hidden outside of it. Ah. Hey, remember how I said don't go out there? It's full of explosions and death. Yeah? I'm pretty sure we have to go out there full of explosions and death. Okay. You first then. All right. And she starts climbing the ladder. It's important not to tamper down the enthusiasm. Uh, 
Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, uh... Volk, like, jumps up into a, her backpack and, like, sticks its head out while she's climbing this ladder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. You were going to search the bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Was, was, was there anything of note in there? Uh, the bag is full. Uh, the bag has a... Uh, The bag has a mm. bottle of black ink, I'm gonna drive. a quill, a small knife, uh, a change of common clothes. Mm. There's an explorer's kit inside of it, uh, a bedroll, uh, a couple of days worth of rations, a water skin. Um, there is a rapier and a short bow, okay. uh, a set of thieves tools. Ah, mm. okay. And they got stuck behind a locked door. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna climb this ladder. Is there like a, there's a hatch at the top of it? Uh, the hat, there may be, but it is open. And there's like a knocking from the other side of the door. Okay. Uh, c kind of urgent. Uh, saying, uh, if you go up there, be careful. Okay, why? Okay. I didn't stick around to check thoroughly, but I did get freaked out. And now I'm in here. Ah, a stunning lack of specificity. I am going to... There's something moving up there. Great. Okay. Uh, walk it. going to get to the top of the ladder. Think mm -hmm. about this for a second. And then she's going to cast invisibility on herself. Okay. And then push the hatch open. Okay. Uh, th there is no hatch at the top. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, yes. And you open, as you get closer and closer to the top, the light, um, well, okay. First off, it starts getting warmer as you get nearer to the top of the room. Okay. Um, and you emerge into a green garden-y space. Like, at first it feels like... Um, a rainforest or uh, something where the intensity of the biodiversity is um, uh, at an apex. There's a forest here. A what? A forest. Can Beth just fit through the hole at the top of the thing? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to hop up out of the hole and start looking around in this forest while Beppis comes up. Beppis is going to look up and be like, What? Was this just... Yeah, there's still snow covering that window down here. But it's a warm forest. To... Good. Great. Okay. There are trees. There is ground cover. There are small crawling plants. You detect the presence of small animals and insects. I'm gonna shout down to Boom. It's like, what type of magic did you see? Mm, necromantic, evocation, you know, explosions and death. What do you know about magic? I mean, evocation magic could just be the warmth. They're just controlling the temperature with it. I yes, of course, that's what everybody uses evocation magic for. Fireballs are much more exciting, but... Okay. Um... Uh, so you're invisible. Yes. Um, Be there... This is just sort of like half out, <laughs> sort of goggling and being like, Give... I've never seen uh... woods this disorganized in my life. Uh, boom, are you climbing the ladder as well, or are you still downstairs? <laughs> no, we okay. need to see if anybody gets I snatched want... away. Uh, <laughs> both of you give me perception checks. Uh, 12. Uh, 18. All right. Um, Erica, mm -hmm. the space you are in is enormous, but absolutely bound, right? Okay. It's, it's, yep. this is not outdoors. This is, uh, a, this is a big room. And looking around, you can see there is a central spire that supports a, um, uh, you're from 
Are you from Baldur's Gate? Waterdeep. Waterdeep? You would absolutely know what a lighthouse is. Okay, yep. Yeah, uh, it looks, it has like the Fresno lens, mm -hmm. crenellations. Um, actually, no, it wouldn't. It's, it's the opposite of a lighthouse. Lighthouse is supposed to like collimate light and send it in specific directions. This is to radiate light in every direction. Okay. And uh, the roof, you are actually in a dome mm -hmm. um, covering dozens of acres of space. Okay, Hu huge dome that they've turned into a kind of greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. And covering it is an enormous shadowy shape. Ha. Huh. There's something outside, but I don't see anything in here. You're outside. Well, there's there's like a Do you know what a greenhouse is? Yeah, it's like that but bigger. Ah, neat. Are you actively being attacked? No. I climbed the ladder. Um, the, the shape seems to be emitting light. I forget, do gnomes have dark vision? Yes. Yes. Yes? Do loxodons have dark vision? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. No. Um, it is emitting a very, very, like, just... It's hard for you to even focus on, um, but it is a faint kind of purplish light that casts only the vaguest suggestion of a shadow. What is going on with the bus? Whoa. Uh, oh, it's, it's having a time. Okay, we're still going. We're still going. We're hip. We're happy. Yeah, we're happening. Yeah, no, that's good. All um, right. Everything is fine within and without. And Beppus... As you look around, first off, I'm sorry, what was your character's name, Erica? Waywalk it, Horcus Porcus. Waywalk it, right. <laughs> um, Waywalk it has vanished, but you can, you know, she's invisible. Yeah. Right. Which I'm presuming you're familiar I with am. the concept of. Yeah. Um, I've been talking, so they know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and importantly, casts no shadow. However, you do. And the shadow you cast is not moving along with you. In fact, you, you, you are taken aback because you think you're standing next to like a wall, but instead it is the shadow standing next to you in 3D. What's your armor class? Oh, very big. Um, that's my thing I'm good at. Uh, one second, such new. Uh, what did I give myself? I don't know. Leather armor. I was not outfitted for carrying, so I'm like... Uh, right. Uh, I'm... Uh, it should be right at the top of the page. Uh, armor class. 15. Okay. Um, this is a surprise round. This is about as surprise as one can get. It misses... Uh, the. The shadow, your own shadow, reaches for you, and uh, it's a one, so it misses. But you feel the uh, the chill of this grasp as it moves past you. Roll initiative. Okay. Aha! <laughs> Woo! Ten. Ten. Mm. I also got a ten. Sixteen. Uh, that Beppis, you're gonna go first. Uh, Beppis is going to uh, react mm -hmm. and uh, uh, go, and he's gonna take his hammer, which is still in his trunk, and he's gonna give it a mighty swing. All right, roll, roll to hit. Try to hit that shadow. Uh, that would be a five. All right, you said I have inspiration, right? Yeah. All right, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, wow, I rolled, now that's a six, so I still don't hit it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, ah! <laughs> that's appropriate. Um, this this thing is very uh, 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 dissolute. It's weak. It's the barest suggestion of of an outline. 
um, you swing your weapon and not surprisingly have a hard time guessing distance to it or guessing its position, resolving its position. It's just the faintest outline of something. Um, higher dex or dex scores? Uh, I have a 14. And boom, you are not yet in the room, right? You were climbing the ladder? Uh, I was climbing the ladder after they said that they were actively being attacked. Okay, and so I'll it'll be, be upset a while. when I find out they lied to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Waywalk it. Your your initiative pass. Okay. Um, I think she is going to panic slightly and cast Ray of Frost at this thing. Okay. Uh, Bethus, your AC was 12? Uh, no, 15. 15. Okay. That's your AC? Yeah. Or that's your DC? Uh, I got a 15. You strike it. Roll damage. Uh oh. Uh, that is four cold damage. The magical energy strikes it and um, dissipates it instantly. It what just vanishes. Bepis? Yes? What? I, I'm visible now that I've cast a spell. Oh, okay. What? Why, why did your shadow attack you? I... I, previously, I've had good relations with my shadow. I don't know why it would try to attack me. Excuse me, friend down in the other room. Yes? Did you get attacked by a shadow? Not you, the other one. Did you get attacked by a shadow? What? <laughs> Did, I'm, I'm halfway. Did you get attacked by a shadow? Yeah, that would make sense. Yes or no? Well, I didn't look, a re look at it. I ran. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, they're smart at least. Okay. Um, Did you get attacked by a shadow? Yes. yes. My shadow. Why what? did you lie to me? Well, I wasn't being attacked at the time. Fair. <laughs> Finished climbing the ladder. Uh, okay. Can I try and look around for the spot in this greenhouse level that would be above the room that this voice is in. I'm going to see if there's like some something up here that would let me open the door. Investigate. Yeah. Ooh, that's a 10. Okay. Um, I don't really like saying no to people. Uh, you find the space where you think you would be directly above mm -hmm. uh, the, the cell or the room and it is a planter. <laughs> Basically, there's, there are the roots of an enormous tree. You know, like pull on one of the branches of the tree. Um, it is sturdy, and actually, as you do so, this is not a normal tree. This is. Do you have knowledge nature? Not knowledge nature. It's just nature now, right? It's just nature. Yep. Yeah. Only nature. Uh, do do I have any nature knowledge? I mean, we all have nature knowledge. Can we all roll it? Uh, I have. Yeah, I, if I'm you, not if proficient there. in it, but I can roll for it. <laughs> uh, that is a thirteen. All right, waywalk it. The this tree is its bark is weirdly regular. Like, have you ever seen, you must be familiar with, like, uh, in our world, uh, you know, fake wood patterning yes. on things? Yeah. It's like that, only much more sophisticated. It's, it's like, it feels too, too perfect to be real. Th this is, this is a real tree, but it's also synthetic. Oh, someone made a tree. Okay, so it's druids. Could be. Great. Uh, and 25. You look at the leaves. The leaves here on each of these, on the trees, on the, sh on the ground cover, on the plants, the flowers themselves are a technology. Okay. These are... Um, you know, when you look at a leaf and you can see the vascular system inside of it? Mm. Here, that vascular system is synthetic and 
and silvery. Mm. And they, the leaves themselves are dark and they, like, uh, they seem to drink in light. Ah. Just pluck one of them, like, off the tree. Do you do sparkle fingers? Huh? What do you do? Well, the, the, you know, the, the, magics. Mag magic, the, what magic do you want? I'm not asking for magic. Okay. I'm asking how much you understand magic. A little bit. Okay. How about you? There. Tall, gray, and amazing. I run the tourism, inform tourism information booth. I can cast detect magic. All right. Go ahead. I got 80% in my uh, grade 12 magic class. Okay. Here you go. Take a look. Uh, this, this was, this was designed. This wasn't grown. Someone, you're right. It's, what is this? Like, can I like squeeze out some of the silver? You said it was like silver stuff in the veins. Yeah. Um. <laughs> just, just playing with mercury in my hands. It is, it feels like a leaf. It smells like a leaf. It, um. When you squeeze it, there's like, uh, there's sap, right? Ah. All right. Well, that's fascinating. But maybe the uh, the person that broke in here and then got caught by the place might know more. So how about we try to keep getting them out? Yes. Yeah. I like this um, plan. Does anyone have a light source? I can cast light. I'm, I'm asking I'm if anyone has one active. <clears throat> Not currently. Can you see? Yeah. It's... It yes? is barest twilight in here. Uh, can you see well? Not particularly, to be honest with you. It's kind of dark in here. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that Bepis definitely has a uh, an is it portable reading lamp mm. because that's a steampunk society. So he's gonna rummage around in his um, overnight bag and he's gonna pull out a teensy tiny dim flashlight. Click click. Like the kind that clips to the top of the book? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Oh, may I see that, please? Please be careful with I it. Will it was be very, very expensive. careful with it. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's very nice. Uh, and he starts like to tinker with it a little bit, and then the <gasps> light gets stronger. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, so I use one of my artificial infusions to oh. uh, let this cast light out to five feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, every, as the light like brightens, uh, suddenly, the the plants react to it. Um, where the plant life around you was suddenly, or was, you know, kind of limp, and uh, we're going to call it dormant. Let's say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah. Suddenly, the the have you ever watered a plant that has not been watered in a while, and you can almost see the leaves twitch mm -hmm. a yeah. little bit, start to perk up. Yeah, like yeah. that. Ah, okay. So here's my theory. Looking up at the thing covering the dome. Mm -hmm. Something's trying to keep light from getting in here. Yeah. Whatever that is. Uh, covered in, I would imagine, snow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Well, that's my theory. Uh, the place is pretty warm, fairly well insulated. Snow does that. So that's as far as I got. Let's get that person out of there, and then they can maybe tell us what's going on. I have a plan. Uh, great. Did, did you do something? Yeah, yeah. We we turned on a light. I heard something. To activate. In a good way. Did it sound like a good activation? I. Can't make that judgment right now. Okay. Okay. If if they want light. The shadow. But Beppis' shadow, does Beppis have a shadow again? It's been a few minutes. Uh, yeah, Beppis has another shadow. Okay. It's In a the, positive way? Uh, the shadow is back, Beppis. The shadow is back. All right. It cast, suddenly it, well, it, it emerges from the woods. Roll initiative again. Oh, no. Oof. Oof. Uh, ooh, I got a 20. How do you like a four? Or I got a, uh, that's a dirty 20. 
Well, I got a five, so we can both be very surprised. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Waywalk it. Uh, oh. You see Bepis's shadow once again. Oh, no, it's back. Take... Frost. <laughs> yeah. Roll the hit. Uh, that's a 16. That, again, the, you st- the, the magical ray strikes the shadow and just dissipates it. Okay. I think we need to work quickly. I think we only have like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what if, if, we, if we need light, maybe we can... Do you think you can juice up oh. that light and points at the tower? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, if there are shadows running around in there, don't should will will you be vulnerable while you are working on this equipment? No. All right. Let's... I am rarely vulnerable. Okay. Cool. I'm very guarded. I'll continue to stand here and do nothing. No, Great. please come with me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's. That just uh... feels very like motivated to help, but doesn't actually want to. Help want to help? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Like... Oh, good. No, good. I don't uh, have to do anything. I would like. All three of you to make investigation checks. Uh, or actually, would this be more like wisdom? What is it to like connect something? I make... would say wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Okay, give me a, what, give me an insight, that's, actually. That's a good roll. No, insight, okay. We literally have a skill called 12. insight. 12? Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <gasps> 15, what'd you get? Natural 20! Yeah! Ooh, I got insight, I got a 17. 17. 15. Bethus. Okay. Uh, with the breakthrough, you realize, okay, these shadows, they're coming to life every few minutes. Uh, it's like it's something taking oh, a it. very limited amount of energy to do this. You don't know why it's at that interval. Um, and you don't know what's doing it precisely. Bethus, the shadow that is coming to life is one that is, well, I mean, you like stand there and you do a bit of like visual calculus to extrapolate where what light is casting the shadow. And it is the, it has to be up there. And the line, the, 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 um, the vector you draw in your head leads to, well, this one point on the enormous thing covering the greenhouse dome. All right, mm. I've put it together. I figured it out based on the plot of a book I read once <laughs> and the fact that neither of their shadows came to life. But the but they weren't but so something had to have made that happen. So Oh. I think we need to go up there. I think that's where whatever was causing me to have bad shadows is coming from. And I point. With my trunk. He points to the tree. That collects the energy source which activates all of the magic things that are in the thing. Something up there is attempting to prevent that from happening. That's where the necromantic magic is coming from, bringing your shadows to life. We should absolutely activate the lighthouse to power everything in here and maybe get that thing away. How much light are we talking about here? I want everything you can give me, Boom. We don't know each other very well. Very good. <laughs> uh, yeah, we head over to the lighthouse. Okay. The lighthouse is, uh, again, it's a multi-story structure reaching up very nearly to the top of the dome of the lighthouse. And in fact, as you begin to climb it, big spiral staircase up to the top, there's, um, you, it, it, it's, it's like an access stairwell uh, because there's quite clearly what would be an elevator in here if there was any power. Mm-hmm. Um, but you climb the stairs, it is a long way up. and. Past the, uh, the, the uh, lighthouse structure, the lens of the lighthouse, it continues to go up all the way to the dome of the lighthouse, or all the way to the, the top of the dome, where it seems to lead to some kind of exit, if you will. Um, however, inside the lighthouse structure itself, you have now arrived, and it is a, well, give me an arcane check. I'm way less good at that. Uh, I got a 14. I got a 16. 16. 16. Okay. Uh, This is... Yes, this is a light source. It is a, a tremendously powerful one that will 
sustain all the living organisms in here, shine broad spectrum light upon them, but that doesn't quite make sense. Shouldn't they, this is a greenhouse, mm -hmm. it should generate its own light, right? Maybe you need a light source at night, right? Yeah. Uh, to keep it going all day. So, but if, if the plants are powering the, the structure, then why does the structure need to power the plants? Um, but however, you can turn it on if you need to. You can, uh, it, whatever batteries it has are flat. Whatever reserve power it has is flat. So would you say something along the lines of lightning would help? Um, like a lot of it? Possibly. Like so much lightning? Yeah. So much lightning. <laughs> okay. So much lightning happens. <laughs> Um, uh, so, uh, just to be very clear, um, mm -hmm. I can, I can do 1d6 lightning damage, uh, as a ranged weapon as much as I want. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, uh, cast lightning and it, uh, the tremendous differential, the, the, the energy you transfer, the, 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 um, gradient that you generate. Mm. Uh, brings the batteries to life and for a few moments the light source uh, illuminates and it is brilliant um, it is too bright to look at and uh, from around you the, the 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 facility seems to hum to life as uh, all the plants in the greenhouse mm. spring to or, or, or uh, acquire a new kind of life to them. And above you, the enormous thing draped across the lighthouse ah. begins itself to twitch. Called it. I called this. Uh, While uh, you're standing here, you can't... The, the, the brilliance of your shadow complete... Like, the brilliance of the light source completely overwhelms whatever shadow this thing is casting. Do, what happens with the uh, the plants down below? Do they seem to react to this? Yes, yes, they come to did um, they 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 spring to activity, but not like any kind of. Um, but just like they start to like twitch a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They perk up. Mm. Oh, I hate I have to say this. We should go look at that thing outside. Okay. Okay. Let's close. I start climbing the stairs up towards the top of the greenhouse dome. All right. Okay. Beppus is a strong and sturdy lad, so he's going to take these stairs easily because he lives out in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, Beppus, being uh, being the literal meat shield of the party, can can Beppus be the one to open the door? Sure. Mm -hmm. So he's going to walk. It will allow this. Gonna open, <laughs> he's going to open the door to the outside, but he's going to hold his enormous book in front of him, which is big even by his standards. As you throw open the the door, the, 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 the portal to the top, uh, the cold air pulls at you, like the, um, the, the intense cold of whatever climate you're in. Wind, snow whips at you. And uh, have you ever like stepped outside in, in the dead of winter and it's like your eyelids freeze shut? Yes. And yeah. you feel like the intensity suddenly of like an ice cream headache? Mm-hmm. Very much like that. Oh. Mm. Walk it like pulls her arms inside of her sweater. And yeah, there is an enormous, it looks like a, a ray, a manta ray, draped across the dome of the, of the greenhouse. But it is skeletal and um, decayed, but not without life. Ah. Not anymore without life. Hmm. Uh, shoo. Well, that didn't work. What do you want to do? Can we bop it? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's very large. How 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 big? Like scale wise, how big are we talking with this thing? It it is dozens of meters across. It is enormous, okay. but it is like desiccated and ancient and um, papery in its fragility. Mm. Okay. 
I'm going to cast Ice Knife at it. Okay. Now this would be fun. Uh, let me roll. Roll me an attack. Uh, that is a fourteen. That. What is Ice Knife exactly? You create a shard of ice and fling it at one creature within ranged. Make a ranged spell attack against that creature. On a hit, it takes 1d10 piercing damage. Hit or miss, the shard then explodes. The target and each creature within 5 feet of it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. Okay. And casting is a second level spell, so it will do okay. 3d6 cold damage. So the ice knife um, slices through it like uh, sharp shears through linen. Mm. Um, and yeah. just sh- and then it strikes something solid and seems to snag for a moment roll me damage okay um, so that will be 8 piercing damage and 1 7 uh, 11 cold damage so 19 damage total You see, as it slices through, uh, it seems to strike some kind of, like, elaborate structure. And catches on it for a moment, and then cuts through it, uh, neatly bisecting it. The creature, whatever it is, uh, shudders and begins to... It, it, it seemed dead to you already, but whatever that means to this thing is remains mysterious as it just begins to flake away as if it was like dried paint or um, ashes. It begins to uncover the, the, the greenhouse. Gross. Don't breathe it in. Uh, Bepis is going to curl his trunk around. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was good work. Everybody back inside, it's cold. <laughs> okay. We the... go back inside. What was the thing that it got caught on? Just like a knot of nerves in the center? or It seems that way. Oh. Some kind oh. of whatever, whatever the guiding principle of this thing was. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Mm. Oh, I didn't like that. Yep. Uh, All right, let's go back in. Already, you uh, can see... The place see... is still kind of running, right? Yes. Okay. It, it now seems to be... It's daylight outside. <clears throat> ah, whatever so. this northern Arctic environment is like, uh, it still experiences you know a few hours of daylight. It seems to be that. All mm-hmm. right. Well, uh, our and friend, our trapped friend, is either freed or paced. Let's find out. Yes. All right. Can't wait to see which one it is. So we make our way back down the lighthouse and back down in the ladder into the room to this door. Uh, the door's open. Who's inside? A tiefling, a young, a young uh, tiefling man, who's like, you, you did it. Hi, I'm Waywalket. Oh, uh, Isaac. Hi. Uh, did, do you mind if I get my stuff? Go. Yes. Okay. Uh, we didn't take any of it, right? No. No. Okay. Why that's the truth. Why would we take any of it? That the, doesn't belong to us. The place has become t- okay. to hum to life, and um, whatever purpose this structure serves uh it has now begun the 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 vast room you were in has begun to transform a little bit and uh a door is opening like the wall itself at the far end seems to unfold a little bit revealing a uh like a a a, almost like a portal of light hmm Oh, let's see. Portal of Light or Thunderdome? Who's running tomorrow's session? I am. Do you care to theme what this portal should be like at all? Yes. Through the portal, you can see that there is... I'm not going to... I'm not going to say... It's some kind of horseless carriage. It's a van. (laughs) Um, It's painted a garish color scheme that's mostly green and teal with some orange flowers 
painted around it. And there's a set of double doors at the back of it that are open. And it smells faintly of wet dog and weed. Well, I don't like anything about this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I know that smell. <laughs> <laughs> and you all pile into this van. There's four seat. There's space in the front seat for all four people, and then just a bunch of room in the back. And then, as soon as you get in, this thing starts to rumble to life. It starts to hum and shudder a little bit, and then it starts to move under its own power, as if it's leading you somewhere away. Would you say that where it's leading us is a mystery? Yes, it yeah. is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, and we will continue this tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Uh, Cameron, thank you so much for running that. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. That was lovely. That thank was you. great. That I was hope really you lovely. all enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it too, Chad. Uh, I was very impressed. It was, it was complete and whole and felt lived in and an hour, which is very impressive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it may have run a little over. Ah, who cares? It was an hour. Don't worry about it.